Welcome YouTube, part six. Well, 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 we have got pretty much everything done. The whole projector is now complete. We have a lamp house, yeehaw. It's been tested and run. I've been watching movies now for the last month or so. We had a bit of a hallelujah moment over the last week. We finally got our digital head running. Thank you to Martin in Uruguay, who got me a cable, finally, hunting around for a cable forever. And Martin in Uruguay helped me out a lot, um, getting a cable and a few other parts for the platter and that. Um, this is six channel audio, um, front, center, um, left and right rear left and right and then a subwoofer which is six channels um i've got it mixed down through into a multi-input mixer board so i'm taking the six channels and then mixing them down into left and right stereo here's our lamp house we actually got it done went through heck getting it of course well and of course when I did get it I had to do my thing to it. It worked and everything and it did pump out nice lots of light and stuff but and yeah, I gotta wire it in and I gotta modify and clean it up and make parts and just do my thing on it. It's not it's done. I, th I was gonna say it's not done but it is done. These two pieces are made out of cardboard. Um, they're sort of mock-ups. At the moment, I've got a complete cap on the back there for that. Uh, I'm going to remake these. This one was a test to see if I could block all the light coming out of the top of this thing, yet not block any airflow, which worked. And this is Cone 3, the third generation, the third attempt at making a cone. Um, so yeah, these will be replaced and um, and sheathed in actual copper for the final product. Here's the back. This is the aperture motor that we were talking about in the very first video. Changes the aperture from uh, flat to scope. So if I do that, there you go. That's how that works remotely. I got the remote in my, my lap here. So yeah, we haven't really done a great deal behind here. We've changed belts, brand new belts on here. One of them actually was just close to death, so we decided we should change the belts, yes. And most of the wiring, a little sponge pad there, because we do have a little bit of a drip issue with the intermittent sprocket gear case you can hardly see it there but um, I've written to the tech people and apparently these all leak so it's not like I can do much with it I could take it out and overhaul it and put new seals and stuff but it doesn't leak that much if I run an entire film I might begin to see one drop forming it doesn't even drip so other than that, everything else back there was uh, pretty non-eventful. This is not a decorative piece. This is a box full of, of gravel. Um, about 60 pounds, 65 pounds of gravel. Um, this lamp house weighs quite a bit. And when I put the lamp house on there, this whole thing got a little tippy, I'd call it. It wasn't terribly unstable, but I really just had to add some weight to the bottom of this thing to just solidify it. Um, it was unstable to the point where if I would walk by and there was a, a projection going on the screen, it would shake the projection around. The floors aren't exactly solid here, wood floors. They bounce a bit. So, yeah, had to add some weight. It's my vintage Dolby digital gear. This stuff is so old now. It's like 1995, this stuff. 
there's obviously been advancements since this one. This is probably one of the earliest ones. But surprisingly, even after 1995, it still works remarkably well. Here's the digital one. Right now there's no signal in, but uh, yeah, it's all laid out and it works fine. Six channel surround coming off this thing. So, heck yeah, it can't be all bad. Okay, so there's now my six mixing board to handle all the outputs coming off of this thing. One of the problems I had during the wiring of this was um, the main switch. Uh, it proved not to be strong enough for some reason. I really didn't think I had that much current draw going on with this thing, but apparently the switch doesn't like it. So the first switch fused. Uh, which means when you turn it on, you leave it running for a while, you go turn it off, things don't turn off. Everything stays on. So I replaced the switch with a uh, double throw, triple line switch. Well, I can't remember, I think. Anyway. And same deal. Expensive switch, $30 switch. And it doesn't uh, last. You can turn everything on. It runs for a while and you can't, you can't shut it off. So what I wound up doing was putting on a single switch and wiring that to the coil of a contactor, which is in this white box here. So it's a 30 amp contactor. Um, the coil is 120 volts, so I just run that switch and turn the coil on and off for the contactor. And this fires up all the main power for the projector now and it works it's been tested and run flawlessly now for the last few months and no no issues no no problems but that was just so weird the switch these little switches the one i bought was rated for 30 amps but however huh. anyway just wanted to just share that little bit with you Another weird problem that we had, which we sort of scratched our heads over for a while, was we had dark corners on the image that we were getting off the scope lens. All four corners were dark. And I tried adjusting my lamp, I tried adjusting the mirrors, the bulb, everything. And it was a simple fix. Those of you who are doing this at home, I had to make the lens shorter. Take out a spacer ring. These things are built up. This is an attachment. The scope lens is attached to a base lens um, and then fitted into the projector. Take the lens out, remove a spacer ring, make the lens shorter, and voila, no more dark corners. Heavy sigh. <clears throat> Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> At the tender age of three, I was hooked to a machine just to keep my mouth from spouting junk. Ha! It must have took me for a fool, cause they chucked me out of school, cause the teacher knew I had the fun. But tonight I'm on the edge That has shut me in the fridge Because I'm burning up I'm burning up With the vision in my brain And the music in my veins And the dirty with the main my blood They are messing with my heart And they're messing with my heart And they're messing with my heart
and your headphones You can turn it up <laughs> Yeah, I'm the shape in your back room I'm the breather on the phone yeah. and So here is what a 35 millimeter film looks like projected in my living room Fire everything up here And there you have it, YouTube. We have completed the project 100% with digital sound running and everything. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.